I want to also ask you about your interpretation of the Bible um, and your feelings about gays and lesbians. You have said uh, in recent years that opposition to same-sex marriage is a defining political debate in this country. You're opposed to it. You'd like to see a constitutional ban uh, against it in this country. And during a speech that you gave in 2004 at an education conference, you spoke openly and in detail about gays and lesbians. And I want to play just a portion uh, of that speech and have you react, react to it. It's a very sad life. It's part of Satan, I think, to say that this is gay. It's anything but gay. It leads to the personal enslavement of individuals. Because if you're involved in the gay and lesbian lifestyle, it's bondage. It is personal bondage, personal despair, and personal enslavement. And that's why this is so dangerous. We need to have profound compassion for people who are dealing with a very real issue of sexual dysfunction in their life and sexual identity disorders. That is the view President Bachman would have of gay Americans? Well, I am running for the presidency of the United States. I'm not running to be anyone's judge. I do stand very... But you, very you have judged them. I, 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 I don't judge them. I don't judge them. I am running for presidency of the United States. Is that the view of gays, gay Americans that President uh, Bachman would have? Well, my, my view on marriage is that I believe that marriage is between a man and a woman, and that's what I stand for. But I ascribe honor and dignity to every person, no matter what their background. They have honor and they have dignity. Do you think gay Americans hearing quotes like that from you would think that that's, that's honor and dignity coming from you about uh, their circumstance? I am not anyone's judge, and I'm not standing in this. Congresswoman, you have, I mean, do you think anybody hears that and thinks you haven't made a judgment about gays and lesbians? That's all I can tell you is that I'm not judging. So your words should stand for themselves. I'm running for the presidency of the United States. That's what's important. Would you appoint a gay, an openly gay person to your administration, to your cabinet, or name them as a judge? My criteria would be the same for that, for, for, which would be, where do you stand on the Constitution? Are you competent? And do you share my views? Mm -hmm. That's my criteria. But those views are, are, are pretty clear. So you would, you would, as far as a judge, you talked about that. An openly gay person is acceptable as a matter of your administration, as a member I, of your administration? I, 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 have, I have my criteria for what I, my appointments would be based on, mm -hmm. and it's whether you uphold the Constitution, if you're competent, so and it would if not you be share a factor. my views. I am not out asking any other questions. One last one on this. Can a gay couple with, uh, who adopt children, in your mind, be considered a family? Uh, when it comes to marriage, and family. My opinion is that marriage is between a man and a woman. And I think that's, that's been my view. So a gay couple with important. kids would not be considered a family to you? You know, uh, uh, all of these kind of questions really aren't about what people are concerned about right, right now. This isn't what this is, you said and, it, and you, I'm not You said that any, any candidate for president should be asked about his or her views and their record. This is a record of your statement. These were defining political issues for you in, as your political career advanced. You're the one who said that same-sex marriage was a defining political issue of our time. Those were your words back in 2004. So I'm just asking you about uh, your views on something that has animated your political life. I, I, I think my views are clear.